Can you be white with a black identity? Cultural identity is a two-way street. There's your internal allegiance. And there's also community acceptance. Over on my side of the pond, US, there are lots of Irish American folks who call themselves Irish and consider themselves Irish. But people from Ireland regularly insist that Irish Americans aren't Irish. Same goes for Italian Americans. So, do you need both sides of the coin to have an identity? Do you need to be accepted in order for your identity to be valid? I think you tell a great example of someone who has a cultural allegiance. Do they need to be accepted as black in order to be black? Whose job is the gatekeeping? Both groups are right. She is not black. She has no experience facing discrimination by society for the color of her skin. However, she is culturally Nigerian and African American. It is 100% true. She was raised with that culture. Nothing can take that away. Not even the color of her skin. From what you say, your friends are claiming that she is not black. Which is true. And she is claiming she is Nigerian and African American. Which is also true. Culture isn't the same thing as skin color. She is white and Nigerian, African American. If two white people adopt a black child, does that black child get to grow up and identify as white if they want to? She can feel however she wants. She can't expect others to accept it nor be okay with that. Ever seen the jerk? I'm white but my parents raised me hair Krishna. Which is a bastardized form of Hinduism. I had a Hindu name. I went to the Indian holy sites. I was raised with Indian people. I was initiated by a guru that doesn't make me Indian. I would say I have an Indian cultural background and a white ethnicity, race. Same with this girl. Let's not conflate black with African American they are not the same thing. I am a white African American. My ancestors were Afrikaners going back at least 12 generations. And my parents came to the US when I was 3. I do not however identify as black. Those aren't the same thing. Louis C.K. touches on this a bit. He's Mexican on his father's side and lived in Mexico in his early childhood. Is black your experience or the color of your skin? My experience is as a Mexican immigrant. More so than someone like George Lopez. He's from California, but he'll be treated as an immigrant. I am an outsider. My abuelita, my grandmother, didn't speak English. My whole family on my dad's side is in Mexico. I won't ever be called that or treated that way. But it was my experience. It seems that there are aspects of the experience of presenting as a certain race that somebody, like your friend or Lewis will never be able to fully relate to. But there are important cultural aspects that are important to their identity that they shouldn't have to give up, as long as they are taking anything away from those that present as that race. E.g. I don't see why X people complain. I'm X and never had a problem. Then they can rightfully say that they are of that culture. J Rock is that you? Gnome Saiyan. Race is not culture. She has full right to claim her culture and have pride and a voice within it. She isn't black. She does not experience life as a black person. Where the line is between exercising her voice as one over the other could be prickly. But as long as she's being respectful and people are being respectful of her that line wouldn't be. Hard to not cross. She's not black. She's experienced black and Nigerian cultures. She can have strong ties to the black community. But under no circumstances should she speak as an authority on black issues. Proximity doesn't trump lived experiences. Lived what experience? What is there to get offended by? You don't need to be oppressed to be black. 
I think a worthwhile question to explore is why do you and your friends care so much? Her story is exactly as you described it. Nothing more nothing less. The divisive labels people use clearly fail to describe many people. Not least of all this person. What value does deciding on a label concretely bring? I think you can be white but have black cultural identity. Obviously it's not her fault. She was brought up like that. Tell her friend to take her offended friends to have dinner at her parents' house and talk to them. About it. I would love to see that dinner conversation unfold. Black American woman here. My family moved to SoCal from Alabama when my mom and my dad were expecting me. This was just after the Montgomery bus boycotts. So we moved to the whitest area and I didn't socialize with blacks until I was in my 20s. Found a great little black church and they just loved and accepted me even though I talked like a surfer girl. Faster forward 30 years. And my biracial son tells me about how when he was in high school he worried he wasn't black enough. That hurt a lot. At first then I realized that I went through the same thing and we all go through identity crises of some sort, about our race, our femininity, and masculinity. Am I a fraud in my profession? We all go through it. It's just part of life to question where you fit in. For some, it may be harder or the situation abnormal. But we get through it. I know a guy with similar upbringings. White Mock abandoned him to a black father. Surinamese. Growing up I can tell you this guy was blacker than me. This is in a European country. African American. There are no African Americans in Europe. I think you just mean someone from Africa. Also should mention parents have chosen career paths where they actively advocate for race relations. That's not relevant to the question. Because in her mind she is half African American and half Nigerian and that's literally the end of the story. I. She's not African American if she's living in Europe. That's 100% impossible. Can you be white with blonde hair? And have a strong black identity? There is no such thing as a black identity. Nor a black culture. She could very well be Nigerian at a cultural level. That's true. If her parents raised her Nigerian, then that's not an odd thing to say. You don't have to be black to be Nigerian. But she wouldn't be black. Again, there is no black identity as black people aren't a monolithic culture. Just like how there's no white identity nor an Asian identity. Yeah just ask Rachel Dolezal. Race and culture aren't the same thing. Which a lot of people with a bee in their bonnet about race and labels seem to forget. Let's say you have a family who came to the UK from India in the 60s. Their grandchildren now are third generation British citizens. Identify as British. Are accepted as British. But have racial roots in India. As far as everyone is concerned. They're British. That said. Britain tends to be quite open and accepting of many races and cultures. Bar the usual edge cases like EDL and hardline conservatives. A British person who emigrates to a fairly racist country might not have the same experience. Neither will their offspring until they start looking like the dominant race in that country. Through mixed race parents, some cultures take their identity extremely seriously. But it doesn't mean everyone with the stereotypical racial features feels the same way. My family tree makes me a quarter Irish by blood. But I don't identify much with Irish culture. I didn't grow up in Ireland and don't have any Irish friends or family. So saying I'm culturally quarter Irish is a bit odd. Just like the Italian Americans who say they are passionate because of their Italian heritage. No. That's because of their culture and how they grew up. Not because of race. In your example, a white person growing up with non-white parents and culture. They can of course identify with the culture they grew up in. It's what they know. However, bringing race into it makes it harder. 
as some members of the race that identifies strongly with that culture may find the juxtaposition difficult to process to begin with. Just one of those things. It's important to remember that humanity isn't a hive mind. Everyone has individual thoughts and feelings. So you can't say, black people won't accept a white person who identifies as black, because it's not as simple as that. In this day and age, you can be whoever and whatever you want. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.